So let's now talk about how to optimize your ads once they are actually running. So first thing you have to do before your ads are actually running is to install Google Analytics, meaning to install conversion tracking so that with each click that your ads getting, um, you know exactly how many people added something to the cart, how many people actually bought something from you, how many people gave their information, how many people actually called your number, whatever you are um, advertising. So that's very important because otherwise you don't really know what keywords, what clicks, what demographics give you the, the, the best conversions. So make sure you install Google Analytics and there's a tutorial down below in the video description that will show you step by step how to install Google Analytics with your Google Ads account. So watch that. And um, then once you have done that, get some data. You have to get data uh, in order to be able to optimize. Let it spend like $50, $100, $200, and depending on your budget, obviously, uh, until you will optimize your ads. So you have to get some data first and then you can start optimizing from there. And then how do you optimize? So basically what you want to do is you want to uh, get more traffic from the keywords that are working really well. So let's say for um, fingertip pulse oximeter, this keyword gives me a very high conversion rate. That's, that means that I will increase the bid, uh, my maximum uh, cost per click, I will increase that so I get a better ad rank and more people will see my ad for this specific keyword because I know that these people will be more likely to convert. The same thing with uh, ads or keywords that don't really work well, I want to decrease my bid because if I'm not profitable, then maybe if I pay less per click, that will get me into the profitability zone. And then maybe also you see that some keywords don't work at all or some demographics don't work at all and you want to turn them off. Okay, so now how do we actually do this inside of our Google Ads account? So what you can do is go to your campaigns, so your search campaign, then go to ad groups and then you can do this ad group by ad group. So let's open up the first ad group, Oxygen Oximeter right here. And we have set up three different um, keyword match types for this specific ad group. And eventually you're probably gonna have a lot more. And what you wanna do is you wanna find out the exact uh, match type that is the most profitable for you. So let's here um, sort by conversions. As you can see here, we made one conversion with the broad modified match oxygen oximeter. So this is probably not enough data to really optimize, but if you would have more data in here, you have more conversions, you can really start to optimize. So what you can focus on is search impression share, which means that, and by the way, if you don't see all these columns that I see, you can go to columns, modify columns, and then choose everything here that you want to see. Obviously, if you want to see conversion tracking, you have to, or conversions, you want to see, you want to set up conversion tracking. Again, tutorial is in the description below. Um, so again, let, so let's say this is highly profitable for me. Um, here, cost per conversion, 48 Swiss francs is actually not profitable, but let's say this is like $5, which would be good. Now, um, what I want to do is I want to get more traffic from this specific keyword. So um, as you can see here now, I'm only showing up for less than 10% um, to people who actually type in this specific search term. And my, uh, my traffic lost or my search lost because of rank is 47.38%, which means that I need to increase my rank so that I that my ad will be shown to more people because I know that when my ad is shown to more people type that in, then I will make more sales. So when we go back to this graphic right here, we see that we can increase our rank by increasing our bid because rank is bid times quality score. So I can increase my bid and that will increase my rank and I will get more um, search impression share. I will get more eyes on my ad. So what I would do here is go to my max CPC, my max bid, and increase that by like 20, 30%. So let's say I'm gonna do $1, and then I'm gonna let it run for another week, and then I'm gonna come back in here. Now this is uh, how you can optimize for, t for terms that work very well for you, that are very profitable. Other terms that aren't profitable, you can either decrease your max CPC, um, a bit like 20% or you can set it to the average CPC and maybe that will increase your profitability and if terms don't work at all you can also turn it off you can uh, you can um, go here 
you can go here and then go to pause and then you have turned this specific term off. Another very cool thing you can do is you can go to um, demographics and you can uh, you can optimize by demographics. So let's say, let's go to age and uh, let's say a lot of people who are buying are 45 to 54 uh, years old. So here I would uh, increase the bid by maybe 20%. So I get more people in this age frame. Um, let's say everybody who's over 65 years old, they are clicking a lot of my ads, but they are not buying. So what I would do is I just go here and click on exclude from ad group, and then my ads won't be shown anymore to those people. But you can really see here that this is only possible when you get some data in your account. So you really have to start spending and then work with the data you have. And in the beginning, you wanna optimize a bit more, you wanna continue to update your negative keyword list. And then eventually when everything's kind of running, you wanna do it week by week. So don't try to optimize every day because you have to give it time to get new data so it can make a decision. So wait a week, make a decision, optimize, then wait another week and so on. You can also uh, optimize by devices. So if you click on devices, um, you have mobile phones, computers, and so on. If you see that you don't get any conversions from, let's say, tablets, what you can do is just turn off tablets or you can just go to bid and decrease by, uh, let's say, 70% uh, and probably then your ads won't be shown anymore to people using a tablet. So you can exclude those people from your ads. And that's really how you can continue to optimize your uh, your ads. You want to keep the keywords that give you a lot, that give you a good conversion ratio, uh, and you want to throw away the keywords that don't. But it's not it's 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 not really um, as easy as just guessing what are the best keywords. You really have to find them by buying data. So you have to buy clicks, and then you have to um, look at the data, and then decide from there on what are the profitable keywords and increase the bids for those keywords and turn off the other ones that aren't working for you.